I don't know if I can do this whole section. Joey's on a tear in this 124 section of the DNC. Okay, from verse 11. <sighs> Awake, O kings of the earth. Because they're napping. Come ye, O oh, come ye, with your gold and your silver. Because, you know, it's for God. He needs money. Like George Carlin so sapiently pointed it out. To help, to the help of my people, to the house of the daughters of Zion. Twelve. And again, verily I say unto you, let my servant Robert B. Thompson help to write this proclamation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> For I am well pleased with him, and that he should be with you, at least until he pisses you off, Joey. <laughs> That's what Loki thinks of this. <laughs> okay, 13. Let him therefore hearken to your counsel, and I will bless him with a multiplicity of blessings. That's a whole lot. Let him be faithful and true in all things from henceforth, and he shall be great in mine eyes. And that's God talking through Joey, to Joey and uh, Mr. Thompson. He's going to go far in the cult. Fourteen. But let him remember that his stewardship will I require at his hands. So basically, you got to be his biatch. I apologize for that uh, um, sexist phrase. It was metaphoric. Because he was the bash. Fifteen. And again, verily, I say unto you, Blessed is my servant Hiram Smith. More blessings for him, huh? For I... <laughs> this is the same fucking verse where he was giving him everything already. All right. Uh, for I, the Lord, love him! <laughs> because of the integrity of his heart. And because... He loveth that which is right before me, saith the Lord. And he's the prophet's brother. That helps, too. A little nepotism going on there. Mm. That's nice. Sixteen. Um, yeah. 16. Again, let my servant John C. Bennett help you in your labor in sending my word to the kings and people of the earth. And stand by you, even you, my servant, Joseph Smith, Jr., In the hour of affliction. 
and his reward shall not fail if he receive counsel. This is like the time where he's like split the scene and there's like warrants for him and his wife's about to shame him into going back and facing the music. But it turned out to be a swan song. Sorry, didn't mean to jump ahead, but I was figuring that's about where the context is. I need some more wine. Uh, I bought one more of these at Trader Joe's, and of course, being fickle, I tried something else, so I'm mixing. I, it's a Pinor, uh, Pinois Gris, Oregon Grown Underwood. I don't know. If I said that wrong, let me know. I am a Philistine. I don't pretend to have any culture at all. <laughs> Unless I go too long between showers. Which I try not to do, by the way. Especially when it gets hot. Uh, now we've, we've gone from pink to white. I need to remember to hold my pinky up. Mm, okay. Hint of peaches or apricot. Peaches. Okay. Hey, you know, I I just started trying this wine stuff, so I'm trying to see if I can interpret things in the proper way. Let me know if I got that wrong. You'll have to buy this, taste it, and then tell me if I use the right words to describe it. Seventeen. And for his love, he shall be great. I just keep imagining a guy talking to himself to a dictator. Through a dictator. I mean, you know, through a transcriber. Somebody writing it down for him, taking dictation. That's what I meant. All right. Uh, <laughs> for he shall be mine, if he do this, saith the Lord. I have seen the work which he hath done, which I accept, if he continue, and will crown him with blessings and little kisses. <laughs> To make his owies go away since he's riddled with bullets and falls off a damn balcony or off a windowsill while showing his faith after shooting a couple of people with a gun that was passed to him. Uh, it's inspirational, isn't it? Okay. Crown him with blessings and great glory. Eighteen. And again, I say unto you that it will be, wait, say unto you that it is my will that my servant Lyman White should continue in preaching for Zion in the spirit of meekness. <laughs> Sorry. Uh <laughs> They're so meek. That's what they keep saying anyway. Um. <laughs> All right. The meekness, they invented cloning. <laughs> they just turned everybody into a clone. Uh. The spirit of meekness confessing me before the world. And I will bear him up as on eagles. <sighs> on eagles' wings, like Pegasus, or, um, you know. <sighs> and I will, Icarus, I got it. Uh, <laughs> and, and he shall be beget great wait and he shall beget glory 
and honor to himself and unto my name. 19. That when he shall finish his work, I may receive him unto myself. That's God talking through Joey, through the guy taking dictation. The latest one has been many. They don't last long. Even as I did my servant, David Patton. Who is with me at this time, and also my servant Edward Partridge, and also my agent, aged servant, Joseph Smith Sr. <sighs> Who sitteth with Abraham? And that's the Abraham, not just some other Abraham, but the. It was Abram before that. He started that name, Abraham. Everybody else is named after him. And a whole bunch of other wonderful legends and fables. Uh, yeah, Joey's dad sitting with Abe. Uh, at the right hand. He said, Abe's right hand. That's convenient. <laughs> well, you know, keep your hands to yourself. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm helping. I'm adding content here. And blessed and holy is he, for he is mine. Mine. My Valentine. Uh, yeah, peach. Mm, love, love a nice juicy peach. 20. And again, verily I say unto you, my servant George Miller is without guile. And he ought to know. He's God. Uh, the guy saying he's without guile, this other guy. He's without guile, and God knows it, damn it. Just trying to clear up the confusion there. He may be trusted because of the integrity of his heart and for the love which he has to my testimony, I... The Lord love him. <sighs> 21. I therefore say unto you, I seal upon his hand the office of Bishop Prick. <laughs> like unto my servant Edward Partridge, that he may receive the consecrations of mine house. Not the one of entertainment, but the good one. Not, it's not, well, they're both money makers, actually. But the entertainment probably does a little tiny bit better. That's the house. Um, help it out here. Mine house that he may administer blessings upon the heads of the poor of my people, saith the Lord. So there you go. Let no man despise my servant George, for he shall honor me. 22. Let my servant George and my servant Lyman and my servant John Snyder being introduced. He should have capitalized his whole name, actually. That's the rules. Uh, and others B 
build a house unto my name, such a one as my servant Joseph shall show unto them. So when God's done talking, just go to Joey. He'll manage. He'll supervise. He'll make it happen. Make it so. Upon the place which he shall show unto them also. 23. And it shall be for a house of boarding. But it won't be boring. A house that strangers may come from afar to lodge therein. That must be where Mark Twain and his brother, uh, Samuel Clemens and his brother, whose name eludes me, read Roughing It. Just read it. Uh, you should have read it already. Shame on you. But they stayed in one of these, in that lodge, and talk about it. And he got a copy of the BOM and pones the shit out of it. I made videos on my other channel of that. Link. I'm going to start the next one on 23. I just want, don't want to run out of wine. Stay tuned or peace. The fuck? Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Or watch a better video. Stay tuned, the rest of you.